we're going to be needing for this is super simple. This is a $35 bookshelf, five shelf bookshelf that I got from Target. Um, you can do whatever shelf you want to because I'm just going to show you basically how to do it anyway. But I found that this is the cheapest. Um, when you look at it like up close, like you can tell it's not super nice. It's not like the nicest. It just ended up looking nice once you get a good set of $20 LED strip light. I will put the links to all this stuff in the description and let's just get right into it. It just looks really, really neat. I just thought it'd be cool for anybody if you have miniatures or uh, your manga collection. Whoa, could you imagine manga collection? That wouldn't really make as much sense, but it would be really cool to just be like, come read me. <laughs> but your miniatures, your figures, whatever, anything you want to do. I have it strategically set up for a very particular purpose so that my framing, when I put my actual camera right there, you guys have seen my YouTube videos, so that you can only see basically or mostly only see these three shelves here. That is why I'm going to show you here really quickly. The top is completely empty. It is not lit. I was thinking about putting either my PGs up there or something and honestly I kind of ran out of rope lights and I did not buy a connector which is a mistake that I'm going to make sure you guys don't make if you want to do this project and you want to light the whole thing. But anyways, the bottom is set for specifically some of my kits that I'm currently working on or like kits that I'm working on specifically for the channel just so that they don't get lost in my backlog because right now I'm looking around like they're literally all around my office right now. You guys saw my Gunpla Floor video. It's gotten worse since then. <laughs> I can't really do the Gunpla Floor video again because I have so many things in this office right now, but I can probably fill it. Actually, no, no, no. I can. <laughs> I can fill my floor now. <laughs> so there's a backing on this dresser here. And what I did was I spread the nails out so that the LED strip would be able to come through here. Now, where you connect it, I chose to connect it right here on the side with some double-sided tape and then of course it connects into my outlet and then what I did was my very very first line was right down here I came over here I folded this over onto itself so it doesn't look the best but I'm probably gonna put something there and then up and then right across now how I was able to determine that I wanted this was purely based off of looking at the way that it would look in frame on my camera and where, where the kit is illuminated the best, because if you were to put this in the very back there, it really wouldn't give that kind of space dimensional that I was trying to do. And also, if this would have been down at the bottom, it wouldn't light the kit where I wanted it to. So I use these guys, which are my most stable kits that I own, <laughs> to actually figure out where I wanted this pattern. So basically what I did was I started at where this first hole was right here and that was where I started my guideline and then every other shelf is the second hole. This one's driving me crazy. This is the only one that I messed up. All of them are fairly straight but this one literally, can you see? It's like womp, womp. <gasps> that one's gonna drive me crazy so I'm gonna make sure you guys don't make the mistake either. I did this to make the most dimension when you're like back here and in my shot and it kind of reflects back and it looks cool. Up here has nothing in it. This is probably gonna be for my big boys, my PGs. The black gets dusty super fast. I just already have so much white in my room that I didn't want any more white. <laughs> what I did to make sure that it looked this good is I put my kits inside here and I experimented with where I wanted the light. A lot of people when they do stuff like this, they tend to put it right on the front right here or in the back. And I find that it doesn't radiate the kit enough. Now, the way that I got it, because it's not all the way on the ground, it's going across the kit, reflecting on the black surface here and making it look really cool. Uh, you can kind of see how it kind of has like this contrast to it. Now, the only thing is obviously you can see these little holes right here and everything like that, but it really doesn't bother me. I can always fill those in one day. But the biggest thing is getting these put here and then also let's see if you can see it what I did here is I folded it on itself instead of cutting it because I forgot to get connectors and I didn't want to sit and make a bunch of connectors so all I did was I folded it on top of itself and continued it so that you could actually get the circuit but really I mean as simple as I can explain it that's basically just what I did and really 
The other impressive part is what's on the back to be able to get this crazy effect that I have on the back. I have to take these kits off of the shell so I can show you the back because the back is actually a pretty big part of it. Um, I have mirrors all along my wall here. Oh my gosh, you can see some of my backlog. I have mirrors all along this wall, which I've been fighting and combating. I like the way they look. I do not like the way they reflect, but I wanted to make like this kind of mood like this dispersed mood on the back of it so the back is really really cool you guys will never see the back but i have to show you guys let's move these off of the shelf so i can show you guys the back let's go this guy's a hand grenade okay he probably will fall apart i'm sure i've raved about him quite a few times but he's seriously one of the prettiest real grades i have made yet um He's just a little finicky. All these little pieces right here, they come off. I should probably glue him down, but yeah, he's a bit of a hand grenade if you're not gonna go ahead and use glue for it. Tamiya cement. Tamiya cement. Tamiya thin cement. That's all you need. If you guys remember Sengoku Red Ashtray, he's a really cool suit. Look at that. This is like one of my favorite suits <laughs> that I've ever made. So we have to be super careful with her because her feet like to come off. And she's in such a cool like stance. I don't want to ruin it. We did it. You would have to do a lot to even destroy him. <laughs> he's not, he's not falling apart for anything. He is set. The only thing that I've seen is his little fin here will pop off, but he's good to go. He's gonna get painted. That's why he has nothing on him, but he's going to be painted because it's not very, it's not a very pleasing color. I wanna make him look like a PG because I haven't bought the PG, but I want the PG. Now, <laughs> Now that we have this all off, I'm going to carefully remove the back so you guys can see the back. It's created that, let's see, yeah. You see how you can see the line right there and right there? I wanted it to have that kind of moody light dispersion in the back. I don't know, you'll see, just hang on. I'm, I'm excited about the back. The back looks cool too. Ready to see the back? This is the way that I have the back and I did it mostly to use all of the actual LED lights, but I really like how I brought it down and made this zigzag, this zigzag pattern to fill in the holes where I didn't actually do this. This is what I was talking about with the back. The back, as you can tell, super cheap material. I specifically chose not to pin it like too close together because honestly it's cheap enough, whatever, you know what I mean? So. Let's start down here so you guys can understand what I've done. So here's the box here. All right, let's start right here. So there are two attachments that you can do two separate strings of light. I only did this because I did not have the connectors to be able to connect it to the one string, but it ended up working out fine. And it, it's the whole reason why I have this elaborate pattern and decided to use the rest of the strip to make this kind of cool effect. It's a perfect example of how when you mess up, you can turn it into something beautiful. But anyways, as you can see here, I have started it here and I put the LED strip through the backing to start that zigzag pattern. And then what we've done is it'll go through this side of the wall up and then it came out right here, right? So what we did is on this side, we brought it through here again and I folded it yet again like I did the front. I brought it all the way up until it got to the second hole on this on the next shelf and then we just did the pattern up over until it came back through here and then when it came here we did the same thing we went up back in and then we did the pattern again until it came out here and then finally one more shelf so that it came here and then as it goes up, and then I folded it yet again. It's not very tacky, but it's not very sticky. But as you can see, I just did that. I folded it on its, it's on itself. It's fairly flexible. And that's when I decided to do this pattern down to where it stopped, over to where it stopped again, and then finished the strip and then ended it. And that's how we have this pattern on the back. What do you guys think? And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Tune in tomorrow for Mobile Suit Miss Day 3. If you have any questions about this project at all, leave them in the comment section below. You guys can always check out my Instagram. That's where I'm most active. All my other socials are below and all of the links for everything that I use here 
are gonna be there. When it comes to these LED strips, you have multiple options, but I'm gonna put my best suggestion because not all LED strips are created the same. And I also just wanna make sure that you guys get the connectors for it too, because the connectors are vitally important when you're doing weird designs and stuff like that. Um, I just happened to make mine work. It was 32.8 feet. And as you can see, well, as you saw, <laughs> a lot of it is in the back, but most of it is right here and it goes like that. I do know that on Amazon, there's like 50 feet of it and that should cover you for anything, for like everything. Please tag me if any of you guys try this. I would love to see what you guys do. It, I don't know, it seems so simple, but it came out so cool. I don't know. Uh, anyways, I will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.